Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Now today I'll be updating you on my water-fed pole van that I'm building for my uh, window cleaning business. Now, um, in the last video, or a couple of videos ago, you would have seen the fact that I bought a Volkswagen Caddy. And in that video, I literally just bought it and it was just a bare van. Well, I've now converted it to a water-fed pole van. So I thought I'd show you my setup. Uh, it's a work in progress, but uh, it does the job and it's currently able to earn me money. Now, one thing I want to talk about before we have a look around, I've had a few problems with this van already. Uh, the battery died almost immediately after I bought it, so that had to be replaced. Uh, some of the top mounts are knocking on the front, and there's a, a, something wrong with one of the lights. I think it's a bad ground. So it hasn't been 100% uh, smooth experience so far, but the van is pretty reliable. It drives nice, and it handles the weight no problem. So anyway, that's enough talking. Let's have a look at the build. So here it is, here's the van. The back does look low, lower than the front, probably is exaggerated by here. And that's actually because the gravel is a dip on the other side, so it always looks lower. It's not actually um, struggling to hold the weight that bad. Uh, come around the back, I'll show you my water-fed pole system. So here we have a tank, 650 liters. Uh, I will not fill it any higher than it currently is because uh, I don't need it to be any fuller than that. Plus, I don't really want to overload the van. So that's the max I'll fill it up. In the back here, got some old worktop. Um, and bolted to that is my water reel. So I'll model that for you in a bit. Uh, coming around the side. I've got um, a backpack. So I know a lot of you are not interested in window cleaning, so I'll keep it short. That is basically a pump and a reservoir, and you can connect this pole up to it, and you can pump up cleaning, whatever you want to do, soap, whatever. Clean what you got to do, and then you can rinse it off then with this, so you don't contaminate your main water supply. So that's pretty good. That's an SLX 30 gardener pole. That is a nice piece of engineering to anyone who looks at it. Carbon fiber that was, and they're really expensive. They're, re they're really good because when you extend that to 30 foot, you need a light, rigid material to stop it flexing so much that you're going to pull something in your arm. So that comes in really handy. And I'm glad I spent the extra on getting that pole. Another thing I've done, I jet washed all the van, give it a good snow foam, getting all heat, all these. It was all algae and mold and all sorts in there, but it's all nice and clean now. So uh, hopefully we're going to minimize any chances of the van rotting. Now you might be wondering, how do I actually pump the water at the pole? Well, oh. looks like I've been leaking some stuff. This is my pump system. Now this is a shore flow pump. Uh, really good pumps. Uh, you know, really uh, robust, good pumps. That will suck in water from the tank. And then this controller up here will actually pressurize the water to a set pressure and it will then monitor the pressure. So if I turn the tap off on the pole, uh, it will stop pumping. And I've currently got that running off um, a battery. I like about the Peugeot 28 GTI. It wasn't really good enough. It kept going flat in the car, but it seems to do the job just for powering this pump. Now, if I charge that up off a battery charger, I'll get a couple of full days out of that and I've never actually run it flat yet. Um, but I can monitor the voltage. It's fused here, and this is just a temporary install. Um, I'll be making a, a, a dedicated video on how to fit a split charge kit and a, uh, a box. So that's the type of thing you'd have in a camper van so that this battery gets charged up off the van. So this is how we turn the pump on. Uh, let's have a look. All right, so that's on. It's currently at 35 PSI, and that means dead ended. So we're sensing that the pressure is at 35 PSI because the tap shut on the pole. Now we're running at 12.6 volts. So that's what I've just done there. And my dad's gonna model it. Do you wanna clean your windscreen with it? Uh, well, that's not how it goes, I'm, I'm, I'm a, what foot is it? 30 foot pole. 30 foot? Yeah, and this is where the carbon fiber really comes in because need a really light and rigid material 
Could you imagine the leverage on that brush up there? That's unbelievable. It'll pop your shoulder out if you get it on a bad angle. So that's my max reach, pretty high. And as you can see, pretty rigid. Now on some of the cheaper poles, it'd be like fishing pole, fishing rods and they bend, which will absolutely tire you out in no time. So uh, I don't regret that, quite expensive, but should pay for itself pretty quick. And we'll show you how it works now. Cleaning my dad's windscreen on his Fiat Panda. Now, some people do ask, how come these don't leave streaks then? Well, the reason they don't leave streaks is that's actually purified water. It's not just tap water. So that's the sort of stuff they produce in fish tanks. And uh, I, I've got a, a setup in the back of the garage which purifies the water. So we'll turn the tap on now. The pressure sensor on the controller will detect that the pressure's dropped and then the pump will turn on. left the bird's poo on it. Yeah, I like that bit of bird's poo over there. You like it, do you? Yeah. What's it doing up? Covering a crack it, it, or something? Yeah, it's got a hole there, so. Have you? Yeah. Ah, here we are then. So, I see it is, you know, just leave it there. Yeah, all right. That's quite a high uh, flow, mine. Where you got that running at? 35, that's that now. Yeah. What was that, 50? Come out like a jet wash. Right, I'll turn it off now then. Dead end it, like you just, all you can do is pinch. Easy way to do it is pinch. Yeah, comes off then. Now this reel here is 100 meters, so you can go quite a distance away from the van. But uh, I always get a stress that someone's gonna trip over on it. So I don't tend to go too far away from the van with the hose. Now when we come to put the pole back in. Um, I have got pole holders, but I tend to just slot it down like that. Fits nice and snug. So that's pretty much my water fed pole build as of now. Um, I'll be updating you on future videos on the van, uh, doing maintenance to it. Got to fit a couple of suspension components, fix whatever's wrong there with the knocking on the front and also the split charge kit. I know that there's a lot of people out there who fit them, not just to these vans, but also to the camper vans as well. So that could come in handy to a few people. Now then, now the van's sorted, I can start working again on the Evo. And I've got a lot of parts in the garage, which I can't wait to fit. So yeah, let's get this van finished and then I'll be working on the Evo again. Cheers guys.